It all began in a humble shack in 1925 as KVFV Radio. Four years later, Packard dealer Earl C. Anthony, in order to sell more cars, bought KVFV, in addition to uh, another station he owned. He must have had a fondness for KVFV. Earl C. Anthony renamed the station after himself, KECA. Then he folded it into yet another station he bought from William Randolph Hearst, KEHE, and KECA settled into its home on 790 AM, broadcasting programs from the NBC Blue Network. Well, the FCC's new multiple ownership rules forced Earl to cut loose his beloved KECA, so he sold it to NBC Blue, which of course became the American Broadcasting Company. ABC kept Earl's call letters alive until 1954 when they finally had the brainstorm to name their Los Angeles properties KABC. Enter Ben Hoberman. It was in 1960 when Ben became the general manager of KABC Radio, which was then just kind of existing. Old school radio network programs, lighthearted music, you know, your typical radio train wreck. Ben had the idea of turning KABC into a full-time talk radio station. That's right, talk shows, all day, every day. And the rest, as we like to say on these presentations, is history. Well, the idea came about uh, as a matter of uh, survival in a market that had about 80 radio stations. And uh, I thought of coming up with something that was totally different, that would set us apart from everybody else in the uh, in the marketplace. We came up with the idea of uh, doing all talk and no music. I didn't expect it to take off immediately. The audience response at the beginning was, uh, was fairly good, and the advertiser response was just the opposite, because they just couldn't figure out how you could run a radio station without playing any music. We interrupt this program to bring you a special bulletin from ABC Radio. Three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade today in downtown Dallas, Texas. This is ABC Radio. You're not going to come down here and drag most people out of the car and send five cops up on them. None of that's going to happen no more. I believe that we can continue the great society while we fight in Vietnam. ABC, Los Angeles, AM 79. Talk to the station that talks to you. KABC, Talk Radio, 79. Direct connection. It's a beautiful day for a ball game. Remember, the last four digits of our numbers end in the word talk. T A L K for Los Angeles. This is the happiest crowd I've seen in years. They're here celebrating peace. Today, Talk Radio 790 KABC is still staying ahead of the changes in Southern California. The faces, the facilities, and the issues may be different, but the soul of KABC still stirs as strong as it has since 1960. It's a passion for the community. KABC still sets the standard for a broadcaster's responsibility to the area it serves. Whenever an emergency or catastrophe, big or small, needs immediate help, 790 KABC's Operation Lend-A-Hand mobilizes, raising and providing money, food, or clothes to those who need it most. From California wildfires and earthquakes to the children of the Marines who made the ultimate sacrifice, KABC's listeners come together to pitch in and lend a hand. We're proud that the National Association of Broadcasters recently honored KABC with two Crystal Awards and 12 nominations. It's a passion for the issues. Longer than any other station in America, KABC has been the place where Southern California comes to discuss, argue, praise, complain, and just hang out with personalities who are compelling, renowned, and most of all, entertaining. Personalities who know the importance of making a connection to KABC's audience. KABC's All-Star Talk Tour has become a regular event where we take the shows out of the studio and not only give our listeners the chance to meet us, but more importantly, to give us a chance to meet our listeners. And it's a passion for hometown heroes. 
After an absence of more than a decade, the Los Angeles Dodgers are back on Talk Radio 790 KABC. Painting the picture for each and every Los Angeles Dodgers game, the friendly and familiar voices of Vince Gully, Rick Monday, and Charlie Steiner are once again part of the proud KABC history. So when you listen to Talk Radio 790 KABC, think. Think of that little shack in 1925 where it all began. Think of the car dealer who brought it out of obscurity. Think of the crazy idea in 1960, which turned out to be a crazy enough idea for no less than 2,000 radio stations nationwide today. Think of where all this began, and think of how it's managed to remain a newsmaker after all these years. Think. That's the word that we've been all about for around a half a century. Seven ninety. Well, that's very reasonable.